Hello everyone, my name is Jose de la Rosa. I'm a gastronomy scientist and manager of the Food Alchemist Lab. Right now, we are live from Bologna at the Future Food Living Lab, connecting with a testimonial chef from Greece, celebrating Coroni, emblematic community for the Mediterranean diet. So let's go to Greece with Leah. Good evening. If we give a closer look at the gastronomy of each country, we may observe some similarities in dishes and maybe some recipes. Cereal, vegetable, fruits can be found everywhere around the world. But there are two main ingredients that are predominant of the Mediterranean regions. Olive and olive oil, of course. So personally, I believe that the daily use of olive oil in the Mediterranean diet is what makes, makes it so unique. Let's face it, olive trees have been grown around the Mediterranean since the 8th millennium BC and in many of the ancient manuscripts references are made to it and also to the habits of the, to the eating habits of the ancient Greeks which do not seem so far away from the same habits that ancient Ray describes in his books The Seven Country Study. So both in the 60s as in the 500 BC the diet of the Greeks was based mainly of cereals, vegetables, fruits, spices, uh, uh, dairy products, uh, fish, legumes and, of course, olive oil. Although we have references of what the ancient Greeks used to eat, hardly we can find some recipes. So, in one of the play of Ephippos of, of, Ephippos, Ephippos of Athens, uh, Kidon, he names some ingredients which today we use to present a dish. Hondros, tiros, meili, rus, carion, which translated into English are burgul, cheese, honey, pomegranate and nuts. So, we take olive oil, two tablespoons, and we put it in the basket now. Then we take two tablespoons of vinegar and one teaspoon of honey. We stir it very well up to obtain a smooth texture, mostly to Disable the honey and then, of course, we we'll introduce in it the bulgur. I prepared some, I used to cook the bulgur simply one part of bulgur, two parts of water. And uh, for the chickpeas that I'm going to use here, I used to cook it in, uh, um, in water, olive oil, fennel, onion and persil. So we mix them together, we put also the cheese, the feta cheese that I used in this case, the pomegranate, the nuts, some cumin we take some roca we chop it a little bit and we introduce it in the mixture and also finish up with some mint we're gonna chop and introduce in the mixture And we'll finish it with some salt. So here we have our healthy mixture. We take a plate, we put on some rucula, we add a little bit of olive oil on it, then we take a fork. We go filling inside our mixture that we did with the purul, the feta cheese, the nuts, 
the pomegranate, the cumin, the olive oil, and uh, push it a little bit so it takes the form correctly. We open it and we serve it here. Thank you very much. Kalispera sauce.